this is Will, and in this video series, we're taking a look at using the Play Audio 12 from iConnectivity to create an incredibly portable but powerful redundant audio and MIDI playback system uh, for live performance. Now, in a previous video, I showed you how to set up the Play Audio 12 for, again, redundant audio and MIDI. And then we took it a step further and we said, okay, let's add a Mio XM next to our Play Audio 12, and uh, that's going to allow us to do a lot of great things. Uh, we're going to connect it via USB. We're going to add 5-pin MIDI to our Play Audio 12. Again, we'll link to both of those videos in the description of this video. And that's a great, great setup. But what happens if, let's say, for example, I've got my Play Audio 12 side of stage with my playback tech. My two computers are set up, ready to go, running Ableton Live. And then let's say our drummer is on stage using a Roland SPD SX drum pad and we need to somehow get that drum pad sent over to our Play Audio 12. Now, do not do what you may be thinking, which is buying a USB extender from Amazon and extending your USB over 100 feet uh, with a cable that's like $10. It's not going to work. It's going to wreak havoc on your setup. So here's what we could do instead. We're going to leave our Play Audio 12 over uh, by our playback setup side of stage. And then next to our drummer, we're going to have our drummer plug in uh, their Roland SPDSX into the 5-pin DIN input on our Mio XM. Now, how are we gonna send that a long distance? Well, if we look at our Mio XM here, look at that. We've got this RTP MIDI port. And if I flip around the Play Audio 12, you'll notice on the back of this, we also have an RTP MIDI port. So what's great about this is we're gonna connect these interfaces over a long distance using an ethernet cable. And what I love about this setup is it's a direct connection from the Mio XM directly to the Play Audio 12. I don't have to deal with any IT people, any networking professionals at the venue. I'm simply just gonna take an ethernet cable and directly connect an ethernet cable from my Mio XM to my Play Audio 12. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna do this here in the studio. I'm gonna use this very short ethernet cable to make this connection. But I want your, uh, your mind to wonder for a moment because this cable distance could be whatever distance it needs to be and it's gonna be the same exact setup and same exact process to make this happen. So um, let's start by making this really simple setup. This is what I call kind of a satellite setup using a Play Audio 12 as our main hub to manage both our audio and MIDI, and then adding in our Mio XM and kind of a satellite style setup. And again, we're gonna make the connection using only a ethernet cable. Now, first let's talk about the connections that we have here. So again, I've got my Play Audio 12. We've talked about how to set this up in a previous video. This is connected to both of my laptops, which these are uh, off screen, uh, just so I have enough room for all the interfaces I'm gonna use in this video. Um, but I have both of these connected to my computer. Now for my initial setup here, uh, to make the configurations in Oracle for X series, I do have my Mio XM connected to my main computer via USB. Okay, so this is connected to uh, my main playback computer. This uh, Play Audio 12 is connected to both of my computers. And I'm just gonna use my A machine for now just for this configuration. Now, again, I'll mention as soon as this initial configuration is done, I'm gonna get rid of this USB cable. Okay, so let's head into Oracle for X series, which is our free control software from iConnectivity. We've included information on how to download that software for free in the description of this video. Now, uh, first let's go over to our Mio XM and we're gonna click into the RTP network MIDI section here. Now you'll notice on the Mio XM, we have up to 12 RTP ports. This means 12 individual connections from our Mio XM interface to uh, Play Audio 12, to uh, Mio XM, to various discrete other devices. So those could be other computers, other interfaces. Uh, and I mean discrete connections because uh, uh, RTP1 is going to be sending different information from RTP2 or 3 or 4 or whatever. So there's a lot of possibilities here. Now, for the sake of this video, we're just going to do a real simple connection from RTP1 of our XM to RTP1 of our Play Audio 12. So let's head back into um, Oracle for X series. The first thing I need to do is give uh, RTP1 here a name. And I'm going to leave this set to Responder. And so I want to go in here and just decide what name I want this port to be. Um, now let's name this very practically. And let's say this is going to be set up by our Nord. And so let's say Nord PC. Okay. So for program changes, and I'm going to hit save. So RTP one port on my Mio XM is now named Nord PC. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and copy this because I want to remember this name in uh, just a moment. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and actually physically connect our interfaces together. Again, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna use a very short ethernet cable just here in the studio because these are right next to each other. But again, just remember this cable could be however long we wanted this to be. So let's go to our Mio XM. And on the front here on our RTP MIDI port, we're gonna plug in one side of our ethernet cable. And then let's go over to our Play Audio 12 here. And let's plug in the other side of this. And again, this is a direct connection between these interfaces. There's no network switch. I'm not connecting to another uh, network. I'm just, again, directly connecting these interfaces together via ethernet. Now, let's go to Oracle for X series, which is the free control software from iConnectivity. Uh, we've included a link on where to find it, where to download it for free in the description of this video. And let's make a couple configurations to these uh, interfaces so that they automatically connect to each other. So I've got Oracle for X series connected here. And let's start over on our Mio XM. Uh, we're gonna go to RTP Network MIDI, and you'll see within um, this interface, we have basically 12 individual, 12 discrete connections we can uh, make from this interface to other devices. So those devices could be other interfaces, uh, Mio XLs, uh, they could be other ports on interfaces. So uh, on our Mio XM here, we have 12 RTP ports. On our Play Audio 12, we have four RTP ports. So we could connect any combination of those. Uh, we could connect other computers to this and we'll extend this setup in just a moment but again for now let's just make a real basic satellite setup so let's go back to oracle for x series the first thing i want to do for rtp1 here uh, you'll see this is set to responder i want to go ahead and name this now you can see uh, previously in a previous session uh, i changed the name of this from its default and its default will basically look something like this uh, you'll have the name you'll have a uh, i believe the last three of the serial number and then uh, the RTP port. Now, I'm not a huge fan of leaving that because that doesn't mean a whole lot to me. So I like changing it to be very descriptive so that when I look at it, I know exactly what port I'm talking about. For the sake of this example, I'm gonna use this XM, again, in a satellite style setup, and I wanna basically use it to where this is gonna sit by my keyboard, and I'm gonna use the, let's say, DIN output to send program changes to a Nord. So in order to make this easy to, to know where this is going and what's happening, I'm going to name RTP1 port on the Mio XM Nord PC. Okay, so the way I did that is I just went in, I typed Nord PC, and I hit save. Okay, so that's going to save that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and copy this name here. And by copying this name, uh, and the reason I'm doing that is I'm going to need to add this over on the RTP setup for my Play Audio 12. So let's go back to Oracle for X series. Okay, I've got that name copied or I've remembered it. And we're gonna go arrow back over here, RTP Network MIDI. We're gonna click this on our Play Audio 12. And you'll notice on our Play Audio 12, again, we've got four different ports here, four different connections that we can make over RTP. Now I'm gonna change this from Responder on the Play Audio 12 to Initiator. And then I wanna go into this name here, and instead of Mio XM1, which is what I just had entered before, I'm gonna change it to Nord PC, and I'm gonna hit Save. And pretty quickly after I do that, you're gonna see this connection is established here. And it's basically telling me it's gonna go from this IP address here, uh, and it's gonna automatically connect RTP port one on my Play Audio 12 to RTP one port one on my Mio XM. So if I go back over to the Mio XM, let's go here, uh, you'll see the same kind of information is, is here. This IP address is connected to my Play Audio 12. Now, what's nice about this is this is a direct connection. This is an automatic connection. So what's great is I can power cycle my interfaces. I can disconnect my Mio XM. And once I power it back up, it's going to automatically reconnect to the Play Audio 12. Okay, so now with that automatic connection between my Play Audio 12 and my Mio XM, again, just using a single ethernet cable, uh, those are gonna automatically connect to each other. So again, in our setup and scenario here, I wanna use our Play Audio 12 to send MIDI out of Ableton Live uh, through our RTP port on our Play Audio 12, which is gonna go to our Mio XM, which is gonna come out of our DIN port. So let me show you, if I go over to Ableton Live here, uh, basically what this would look like. Again, I'm on uh, just my A machine. I'm gonna show you the setup here uh, for this particular video, just on my A machine. And I could go to a MIDI channel here and let's name this Nord Program Changes. And then I can go MIDI 2 and select Play Audio 12 USB 109, which again represents RTP 1 
on my Play Audio 12. And now any MIDI information that I send down this track is gonna go to RTP1 on my Play Audio 12. That's gonna travel over our ethernet cable here, over to our Mio XM. And then by default, I've got my routing set up to where it comes from RTP1 on my XM to DIN1 on my Mio XM. So again, that's a really simple way to extend the capabilities of our Play Audio 12 in a satellite style setup. Uh, and that's a Play Audio 12 and adding a Mio XM uh, using a single ethernet cable. Now that's, that's great and that's really easy and simple to set up. But what if we extended this even further? Uh, what if we had, again, we talked about using maybe a Mio XM uh, at our drums for a, a drum pad. We've talked about using a Mio XL at our keyboard station. We've talked about using a Mio XM for our guitars. Well, what if I wanna keep my Play Audio 12, my Mio XM, and what if I wanna add in this Mio XL. There's a lot of possibility, uh, a lot of power with my Mio XL. So what happens if I add this into my setup? And this is where it starts to become really, really cool. And so what we're gonna do to end this video is we're gonna show how to use a network switch like this one uh, with multiple ports to connect all of our interfaces together to create a connected stage experience. What this is gonna allow us to do is continue to keep our Play Audio 12 as our central hub that manages uh, audio and MIDI. And we're gonna add in uh, not just our XM, we're gonna add our XL into this setup uh, to keep everything networked together, again, to create a connected stage. Again, the, the possibilities here really are endless. This is a very small uh, network switch here with just five ports. Um, but again, I've got all those different RTP connections on each of these interfaces. I could add more computers to this setup all by using a network switch. So let's walk through how to set this up. Now, again, I'm here in the studio. I, I'm kind of limited on space, but what I'm gonna do is actually power up this network switch and we're gonna just connect each individual piece of this one by one so that you can see this connection happen in real time. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is actually power up my network switch. This is not gonna work unless the, the kind of core of this central thing, uh, our network switch is powered up. So there we go, we've got power, uh, we've got lights, we can see that that is working. Um, next thing I wanna do is I've got an ethernet cable that I ran before we started this, and this is coming from my computer, okay? So this is my main playback computer, uh, and I'm gonna plug this in here, okay? Now, let's take that connection. Remember, we took uh, an Ethernet cable from our Play Audio 12 to our XM. Let's steal this cable and let's go from our Play Audio 12. So again, here's our Ethernet connection and let's plug this into our network switch. So now we've got our computer and we've got our Play Audio 12. I wanna add in my Mio XM. So I'm gonna grab another Ethernet cable here. Okay, and let's plug one end of this cable into our Mio XM. It's just on the front panel there. It's gonna to start to get messy, but that's okay because there's a lot of power in this setup. Then we're gonna take the other end of this and plug this into our network switch. Okay, so then finally, we need to add in our Mio XL here. Lots of power on this interface. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna scoot these guys back. I've got a power cable for my XL hanging out conveniently right here. And let's plug this in first to give it power. And then you'll notice on the back of the XL, similar to the XM and the Play Audio 12 is an RTP port. So we're gonna take a additional ethernet cable here and we're gonna plug this into our XL, just like that. Okay, and then we'll take the other end of this and plug this into our network switch. So now if we look at all of these connections, again, I apologize, this is an utter mess and an utter disaster in the studio here, but we have our computer connected, we have our Play Audio 12 connected, uh, next we have our Mio XM connected, and then finally we have our Mio XL connected, all to the same network switch. Another thing that I think that's really great about this is this network switch is, is not, um, again, I don't have to work with any IT people at a venue. I can roll into a club, a venue with my own network switch. I can network all these devices together 
If I had additional ports on this, I could add even more computers. Again, the possibilities really are endless. We can network computers at front of house, at, at monitor world. Uh, if we're in an install situation, and maybe we have a broadcast uh, mix set up, we could connect all of those, again, over ethernet, as long as they're all connected to the same network switch. Now, let's go back to our computer here. Let's go to Oracle for X series. Um, and I wanna go back to our main page because now you're gonna see, in addition to our Play Audio 12, and our Mio XM, we now have our Mio XL. Now that direct connection that we set up and established before, it didn't go anywhere, right? Let me show you over in Oracle for X series. Uh, let's go Play Audio 12, RTP Network MIDI. You'll notice that connection is still there. Even though I went from a direct ethernet cable between interfaces, and now they're all connected on the network switch, the magic that iConnectivity has basically these interfaces found themselves on the same network. They again, automatically established, reestablished that connection to each other across the network, which is really cool. Now let's set up the same sort of thing with our Mio XL now. Uh, super simple to do. Again, let's go into RTP network MIDI here. And just to follow suit, let's say, let's take RTP2 this time on our XL. Let's keep it responder. This time, let's say this is gonna be, we'll call this guitar. So let's name it guitar FX, okay? And then we'll hit save. Now, I wanna connect this, automatically connect this to, let's say, RTP2 over on our Play Audio 12. So again, as you probably guessed, we're gonna go RTP Network MIDI. Let's go to Play Audio 12 here, change it to Initiator, and let's paste this in now, Guitar Effects. We're gonna hit Save and watch what happens. Again, almost immediately, right after I plug that name in, it's gonna automatically establish the connection from my Play Audio 12 to my Mio XL. And again, I can show you uh, on the other end, if we go to our Mio XL, RTP Network MIDI, you'll now see RTP1 here uh, it shows our direct connection between our Play Audio 12 and our Mio XL. Now, again, my desk is quite messy right now here in the studio, but because of this network switch, I now have a computer, I have a Play Audio 12, a Mio XM, and a Mio XL um, all connected directly uh, using a network switch and ethernet cables. And again, the ultimate possibilities here is these ethernet cables don't have to just be a five foot ethernet cable between interfaces. These could be a hundred meters long, right? And they could go from front of house to monitor to our playback tech uh, to across the stage. And we can network all of these interfaces together. And you saw how simple it was to open Oracle for X series to make these automatic connections uh, between our interfaces to create a connected stage experience and an experience where everyone is performing in sync and in time together very, very easily. Now, if you have any questions about setting up your Play Audio 12, your Mio XM, your Mio XL, creating an RTP network session, maybe something we didn't show in this video, then feel free to reach out to iConnectivity support. We've included in information on how to contact them in the description of this video. Thanks so much for watching everybody. We'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.